Well, I can't believe it. It's November. It's November. And I'm paddling Canoe Lake without a coat on. Unbelievable. I thought that last trip with Pierre and the kids was going to be my last week, my last canoe trip for the for 2020. But turns out I saw the weather this week. It's, it's supposed to be gorgeous today and tomorrow. We're in double digits for weather. I think today is, tomorrow's supposed to get up to almost 20, I think. The wind is calm. It's not supposed to be very windy. Um, so, I am pretty pleased. I got a pretty light load out today. I didn't bring much. Um, I didn't bring a steak. I just brought one of those meals from uh, the truck that I abandoned. I still had a bunch of rehydrated meals left, so brought one of those out. I'm a little behind schedule. The, the permit office opened a little late, and uh, there was a long lineup of people trying to get into the park, so. Yeah. Here we are. What a beauty.
hair's getting long. It's embarrassing. Just gonna smash a couple sandwiches. I'm feeling pretty hungry. Yeah, I don't think I'm quite ready for a fire yet. I can't believe, like, what was it? Two weeks ago that I was here with Kier and his kids. And, uh, <clears throat> And it was snowing. <laughs> I can't believe it. I really can't. It's kind of hard setting up that tarp in the wind. Editing that uh, four-day series and then going back over my other <clears throat> videos, I noticed um, how obsessed with time I am. It really stresses me out when I start thinking about it and start, yeah. I don't know, I guess I'm like that because, just because of work, you know? What time is it? Deadlines. You know? What do you gotta do? Yeah, I'm thinking about time and all the things that I have to do. But I think about all the things that I have to do as if it's like one thing. Yeah, you gotta break it down into smaller components and realize that You know, you can get through everything. It's just thinking about... Yeah. I don't need to repeat myself. But... Yeah, it's something I gotta work on. It's something that... I don't want to be so stressed out, you know? That, my friends, were good sandwiches. It wasn't enough. That, that uh, bag that I made for my pan shrunk. <laughs> I put it in the wash because after my last trip there was bacon grease on it. And I put it in the wash and I didn't really think about not putting it in the dryer but anyway it doesn't fit my pan anymore
tonight for dinner I got uh, spicy chicken curry with rice and lentils with curries and apples combined with a curry and seasoning to deliver a delicious balance of sweet, savory, and spiciness. I don't know. We'll see. I am pretty hungry. I only uh, I had a breakfast sandwich this morning before I left the house that uh, my wife made me and uh, then just those two sandwiches and a bar. So I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna have dinner while it's still a little light out. And uh, yeah, probably just hang out by the fire for a bit. up and pack and get going. Yeah, I'd like to have a date night with my wife. Maybe watch a movie, order a pizza or something. <clears throat> you know, doing all these solo trips this year, even the long one made me realize something about myself. You know, I always thought of myself as a bit of a, a bit of a loner. You know, like a bit of a introvert or whatever. But uh, I like I like uh, you know when you're this when you're this lonely, like when you're. You know, it's it's nice to share these experiences with other people, you know. When my buddy Kier is around and his kids are around, you know, it's... Camps like this can... Or it, camps like this are really enhanced. You know, I think there's a time and a place for these... Uh, for these solo trips. I think they're important. Um, but yeah. You know, I always rom I always uh, thought about, you know, just going up north and doing the Dick Prennicky thing, you know, like just building a log cabin and living off grid by myself and you know. But uh Yeah, I I, I got to be honest, I don't think that's for me. I like being around people. I feel that way too because of the whole, uh, you know, social distancing thing. You know, I don't, uh, you know, I don't have my martial arts community that I see, you know, two, three times a week and share a laugh with. You know, it's just there's a couple people at work that, uh, you know, my office is officially like, you know, there's no one really at the office, but. I have to kind of go in a couple times a week and just, you know, do some paperwork because I'm in the accounting department. So there's just some stuff that needs to happen at the office. So, you know, I have my office friends and, but other than that, you know, it's, these are pretty isolated times. So maybe that's enhancing my, my experience of liking people. <laughs> Who knows? Check the water. Oh, 
getting close. Easy fill line seven. Smells good. What's that? What's what do they use? Uh, turmeric? Yeah, I think it's got a good turmeric smell. I think the water's boiling. Check that again. Just another minute or two. Good morning. It's so beautiful this morning. The sun's not totally up yet. Is there any better way to spend a morning? So quiet last night. It's such a difference from the summer when you know you hear the bugs all night and the bird and like the loons are singing and the seagulls are doing their thing. And yeah, the forest seems way more alive. But last night you could hear you could hear leaves falling. 
is uh, pretty pretty peaceful. All right, first portage. <sighs> That's good. And I'm walking through the portage. And it's not a.m. <sighs> this is the short one. And then the long one's coming up. I don't even think I'm gonna really, really adjust anything. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. It's like a, it's like a sheet of glass. Oh. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Montage number two. What am I gonna do at portage number two? Uh, this one's a little bit longer. I think this one's closer to 500, 400 and something. Uh, oh, chipmunk, squirrel, whatever, animal. Uh, still walking. Now walking uphill. I love it. I'll tell you, those hundred squats that I do almost every day. Sure does help. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a foul smell through here. I don't know what it is. Rotting. Just stuff rotting. <clears throat> is that the end? I think it is. Yeah, wasn't so bad at all. Joe Creek, here we are. Whoa, diggity dang. Mind your steps, sir. It's steep. <coughs> all right.
Oh, I love paddling in the morning, you know? I'm definitely a morning paddler. Definitely, definitely, definitely. If you've never paddled early morning before, I highly suggest you do it. Borrow a canoe, rent a canoe, ask your friend with a canoe, say, hey, can we get up before the sun rises? Find a patch of water and go canoeing. Very elegant. This is worse than driving on the 401. No, it's not. I'd much rather be doing this. Absolutely a nice change of pace from all the other times I've tried to leave this park. Just a sheet of glass. It's been perfect. This has been a perfect trip. thing that would have made it better is to have a few friends, maybe my wife. Hmm. All right, guys. I'm going to call it a video here. I'm at uh, I'm about halfway through Joe Lake and uh, yeah, it's just the last portage and then Canoe Lake. So I think I'll just call it here. I'm just going to enjoy my paddle. If something super interesting happens, I'll uh, bring you back in. But for now, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.